Jonathan Denver was the son of Los Angeles Dodgers security guard Robert Priest. Denver was watching the Dodgers play the Giants in San Francisco when the worst imaginable occurred. Denver was walking with his father and brother when some Giants fans began exchanging words with them. The confrontation turned physical and Jonathan was stabbed to death. There's no rational explanation for this senseless act, the Dodgers said. The pain that it has caused his family and friends is unimaginable. Well, New York Yankees second baseman Robinson Cano is set to be a free agent this offseason. Sources are saying Cano is seeking a deal worth approximately $305 million over 10 years. Cano wants to match the total value of Alex Rodriguez's record-setting contract. He's not in a rush to make a decision on where he'll sign in the offseason. He says, I want to take my time, go on vacation, and relax. Then I want to sit down with my family and decide what we're going to do. Well, after 22 years of service, MLB Commissioner Bud Selig has announced that he'll retire January 2015. The 79-year-old commissioner brought an expanded postseason and interleague play to the sport. His statement said, I look forward to continuing its extraordinary growth and addressing several significant issues during the remainder of my term. Selig took a sport with over $1.7 billion a year in revenue and will leave it with over $8 billion a year in profit. Well, the San Francisco 49ers powered through the St. Louis Rams 35-11 behind Colin Kaepernick's two touchdown passes and Frank Gore's 153 yards rushing. Anquan Bolden also had five catches for 90 yards to go along with the touchdown. Not to be left out, the 49ers defense stepped up big with five sacks and many deflections. Kaepernick stepped up big as well as he had been getting heat for his lackluster play in the previous two weeks. Atlanta Braves outfielder Reed Johnson and Milwaukee Brewers center fielder Carlos Gomez have both been suspended for one game and fined for their roles in the team's bench-clearing brawl. Both Freddie Freeman and Brian McCain were also fined but were not suspended. McCain, the catcher who stood in the way preventing Gomez from touching home plate, was expected to be suspended but somehow managed to escape without much punishment. Well, that's your sports in three minutes. I'm Rebecca Grant. Check us out over at Daily Motion and always right here at 3MinuteUpdate.com.